Today I'm going to show you how to transform some inexpensive items into blue and white Pinterest inspired summer decor for your home. Today's collaboration is hosted by DIY with Aria and Loli's Creations and guest hosted by Lovely Moments Creating and Farmhouse Frugality. I'll have their channels listed in the description box below along with the playlist. So for this project, we're going to need 12 small oyster shells. I'm going to be painting some blue, some white, some I'll leave natural, and then the other ones I'm going to decoupage on. I'm mixing together a little bit of Night Sky by Waverly and a little bit of black ink so that I can get a nice navy color. Once I had this mixed up, it was a little too gray, so I did add a brighter blue to it to get more of a navy look. Okay, I said I was painting three of them white, and I am. I'm painting three white, but these are the ones that will be decoupaged upon. So there will be three blue, three decoupage, three gold, and three natural. I do want to add that I did give the blue and the white ones two coats of paint. For the gold ones, I did want to kind of give it some sort of a color before I tried to cover it in gold. So I did use some of this gold acrylic paint. It didn't have very good coverage, but at least it took a little bit away of that white. And now I'm going to be using this liquid gold leaf and I'm going to be painting all three shells with it. This is a napkin that I ordered from Timu. So I'm going to be removing the plies. I imagine there's only two plies here. So I'm going to be removing one of those. Once I have that removed, I'm going to cut out three different patterns that I want to decoupage onto my shells. I'm actually decoupaging this time with triple thick. It's very shiny, so it gives it a nice finish after I coat the top. Now I'm going to be using a gold paint pen to go around the edges. And the only reason I'm not using the liquid gold leaf for this is because, number one, I think they're pretty much the same product product and number two I have a little bit more control around the edges with the pen and if you wanted to paint the back as well you could certainly use that gold leaf on the back I chose not to I just go around the edges normally now the last thing I'm going to do is give everything a top coat of the triple thick Next, I'm going to need one of these small wreath forms from Dollar Tree. You could use any size you wanted. I just chose the smaller one. And I'm going to wrap it with this ribbon and I'm gonna hot glue it in place. That way we have something to hot glue our oysters to. I also did kind of a dry fit to make sure I knew exactly where I wanted my oysters to be and how I wanted them spaced apart. And then I used a boatload of glue on the back of each one to adhere it to that ribbon. I think this is absolutely stunning. I would love to know what you think. The last thing I did was add a simple white silk bow to the top. To give a birthday shout out to Annie with Crafting with Indie Annie Jones and also Christine with DIY Craftaholic. Be sure and check out their channels and go wish them a happy birthday. For this project, we're also using that same napkin. I'm using eight wooden beads, four natural colored and four white. I painted two in that same navy blue and then I painted two in that same gold leaf paint. 
Now these two white ones, I'm going to take the napkin that we used in the last project and I'm going to decoupage onto those two white beads. The last two white beads we're going to just leave plain white. Using this wooden skewer, it helped me to paint the beads and also to have something to put them on while they dried. Next, I used some jute twine and I tied it to a tassel that was already made and then I just simply strung on the beads. I made a loop and tied a simple knot at the top and then this wood bead tassel was completely finished. And for this simple project, I'm again using that napkin and two white taper candles. I chose two portions of the napkin that I wanted to decoupage onto my candles, and I used a little bit of Mod Podge around that area and then just placed the napkin over the Mod Podge and then covered it again with another coat of Mod Podge. I was inspired for these candles on Pinterest, but I'm thinking now they would be really pretty if you decoupage the napkin all the way up the candle. Of course, I would not burn these. I would just use them as decor, but I think that would be gorgeous as well. For this last project, I'm using this little plaque that I got from Hobby Lobby on clearance, so I actually got it for 34 cents, and I'm going to be using the back of it, and I'm also going to be using one of these blue and white rub-on transfers from Dollar Tree, and then I'm using some resin to pour into this mold to complete the project. I place the rub-on transfer down, and then I use my transfer tool just to rub along the transfer until it released. And then I pulled back that transfer paper. I did not show you mixing and pouring the resin into the mold because I'm pretty sure you've seen that before. And I already had this one that I had done previously. So I'm taking it now and I'm using some of that gold leaf paint to paint it. And once it was completely dry, I used some hot glue and some tight bond to adhere it to the middle of the plaque. I hope you've enjoyed these Pinterest inspired blue and white summer decor pieces. Let me know which one was your favorite in the comment section below. Don't forget to check in the description box below for the playlist and all of our lovely host channels. I've picked another video here that I think you would really love. Be sure and check it out. Thanks so much for watching. Remember to share the chic. Bye now.